What is up, everybody? It's Southern Pacific Productions 939, and I am so goddamn excited right now. Why? Because welcome back to Train and Rail Yard Simulator, and they have just added, boom, 3952, the Union Pacific Challenger, 4664. Now, for those of you who are, who might be familiar with this model, this is similar to the model from, uh, uh what the hell is it? By 30, 3952, 3982 bytes or whatever the hell it's called. 30, this is similar to that model, but this is a more refined version. But there is one big flaw that I saw with this. This rod here should not be connected to the center wheel. It should be connected here. That's the big mistake everybody makes. And not only a few challengers came with the smoke deflectors that you see there, like 3952 here. I did my research and it turns out that it was there was one built like this. Well, anyways, let's get back. Let's continue. And they did update the map. They now have several, 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 several places to go. There's Blue Cliff over here. Red Mountain, White Stone, Greenfield, Lake Yard, Black Valley, and Gray Plant. It's so goddamn exciting. Another thing is, I wish that they would add smoke and, 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 and actually have a tender for the locomotive that's not coupled like a cup by a coupler. Anyways, I, d I have been looking over this, this model thoroughly, and this is exactly almost a, the body, except for the wheels, is exactly what a Challenger looks like. And what I, what I meant by the wheels was the crankcase rod, or what it, the tra power transfer rod, whatever the hell it's called. The wheels are pretty much almost like it. Now here's the big thing to see if the bo if the boiler actually turns like the original design did. And if you look behind us, instead of that turn around, turn around over, there's nothing there. But when I went on this morning, I found to my big surprise this brand new area. This is, I just came on now. And look at the brand new yards. This is just amazing. Fanning with with Challenger 3952. I do hope that they put in the 40, 12, 40, 14 model. I'm hoping, and I hope that they make it as realistic as possible. And hopefully they'll have more units, more uh, things, and maybe maybe they. I'm actually, but I still, I am glad that they took my and everybody else's suggestion seriously, and and added it's a great, good locomotive. Because how, how can you have a game and not have the Challenger? I mean, I love this game. I don't know about the rest of you, but I love it. This is the only game of its kind. I've looked on Google Play. I have not been able to find this one anywhere. Nothing like it. The graphics, cars, nothing. It's just unbelievable, the amount of detail. However, I don't want to run the locomotive too fast, because it might be real. Yes, 
looking at, at the right at the angle you can see the piston rod, the piston rod that connects the rod to the piston is not really lined up. But that's a minor fix. Hopefully they'll have that fixed soon. But the whistle again is uh, is the same, so is the bell. So this was to my surprise. This was unexpected. This was an unexpected surprise. I want to do the play, and, and all of a sudden I see the words "huge update completed." I'm like, "All right, now we're talking. Let's get down to business." And then I just said, "All right, screw this. Let's just get to filming." And that's what. And that's how it. Is, that's how it is now. So you want to look over the model, we'll do another walk around of the model. I was originally going to do a mission, and then I'm wondering, hmm. Something looks different around here. I click on random freight with steam, with steam, and all of a sudden I'm spawned in next to this thing. I'm like, what the hell is this? I'm looking at this, I see the wheels, and then I see the deflectors. I move out, and I'm like, alright. I exit it out. And I came on free roam. I do wish they would have more passenger cars, though. Anyways. Whatever. Now, if you watch the wheels closely, all six... I mean... The drive wheels themselves, you'll see that they're synced to move at the same time. They rise at the same exact time, and they fall at the same exact time. Usually the challenger is not set to do that, but it's a small fix, it doesn't matter. The wheel, they did, but they did add wheel spin, which is what most locomotives do if you go full steam like that. That's exactly what they, what they would do. I also love that they, their attention to detail. This is extraordinary amount of amount of detail. Even the sound of the wheels on the rails. And that's how we got to rail fanning. Actually, we gotta figure out what the hell. Oh, shit. Where are we gonna go anyways? I got that switch. Oh. What can we just do? Uh, I'm going to go straight. I'm going to go Let's pick it up and see what this baby can do. Oh, I'm hoping that the tender doesn't derail. And, and, but you can see that they did try to animate the Union Pacific thing. The eye is there, but the rest of it, but there's nothing there. And on the cab, they, they they probably tried to add the number, but it never appeared. Again, it's a small fix. And if you look up here at the at the little badge, you can see the number 3978 on the uh, number box boxes on the top. It says 3952. And then again, it's a small fix.
like I like I had said, this is a Renat. This is a refined version of uh, what is it? train set. That's thirty nine, eighty two bytes. This is my actual, I'm actually thoroughly looking at the map this time. Looks like the thing I'm keeping the map this way. I do know that, that I don't, the thing isn't giving, isn't using an articulated, isn't rotating the boiler in an articulated fashion if any of you have noticed. That's a small fix. Also, the, if you look inside, you can see the controls in the cab from here. I just love the attention to detail. I do wish that they would work, though. Because the gauges are kind of blurry and a bit stationary. And the brake handles, the brake hand, and these handles don't work. Watch. Oh, wait, they do. Never mind. Yeah, they, did, they didn't work the last time I, I tried this. I can't believe they fixed it, but I'm glad they fixed it. There is something that I do want to see if I can put the map, put the map on. Yeah, so that works too. Watch the, watch the brake hand. I don't know if brakes and moves. That's, that's exactly what I wanted to see. Go back into the boat. Very quickly. I can even figure out how to do a music video. I will do that. Six o'clock here. 